Thank you for visiting the Coin Lady channel again. That reversal was unbelievable, and now we're sitting just over 50 cents. Imagine if I told you that we could fall considerably lower, after all, everyone is saying that the bottom is in right now. But what if it isn't? I'm currently preoccupied with other matters. And in today's video, I'll show you how it works. And I'll step back and let you make up your mind. However, please inform me in the space provided below. Bitcoin is currently hovering at $65,560, with a market capitalization of $6. Both the XRP and Bitcoin charts on this 7-day chart are nearly indistinguishable. The whole market is currently declining, but no one is talking about how XRP is the only cryptocurrency that is plummeting. And many people still believe that Bitcoin will go even higher than it is presently. So, here's what I've been thinking, every time the DXY goes up, crypto goes down. It has been growing for a week. This is now common knowledge, and I've already said it multiple times, as the DXY goes up, the price of crypto will keep falling. Israeli plans to respond within the next day or two, as is now known. Russia is also repositioning its vessels in the region. Thus, things are getting a bit hotter. My take on this, though, is that something had to happen at this very moment to divert attention away from something else. This, in my opinion, is an attempt to divert your attention from something far more significant. Additionally, everything that we observe is also being pushed. The more wars there are, the better for the US dollar, since, you know, war is the lifeblood of the US currency. January 2020 was also a trending topic for World War III. In the 30 days leading up to the COVID-19 pandemic, the stock market plummeted. It seems like every week, someone brings up the topic of World War III. Every day, I witness it. However, I do not believe that a third world war is imminent. But that's the story they like to tell. Because, really, what could they offer to people that would be scarier than that? I mean, come on, they've been making this whole world war thing up for years. Given the current climate, the majority of people would probably dismiss the outbreak of World War III as nothing more than a passing fad. But, you know, that conflict over there. Being completely honest, I would want to witness the establishment of peace. Crypto would benefit greatly from Warren's participation, I see folks saying it all over X. Also, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, it's not good for cryptocurrency. We need greater harmony in the world, and I don't understand where these folks get their notions. More fighting isn't necessary. A stronger US currency is a benefit of war. The market slump and subsequent appreciation of the US dollar yesterday should have made that point crystal clear to everyone. US officials have denied reports that Iran alerted US neighbors three days before the strike. The tale is told by the DXY, so let's look at it. So, it was March 10th. I probably went and alerted everyone that they were about to launch an attack. Due to this announcement, the DXY chart changed. Following that, we deviated from the DXY axis somewhat. Things began to heat up and the discussions became more combative at this point. That is how it should be put. However, at this point, events began to unfold, and the DXY continued its upward trend. At this point, you should examine the DXY axis chart. Here we have what appears to be the inverse of this. Is the DXY set to increase by that level? An important matter. Plus, tomorrow we will know more precisely what's happening. However, I do not believe that the crypto market has yet reached rock bottom if tensions between Iran and Israel continue. Tomorrow, the stock market will open in the red, and Bitcoin will follow suit when the best opportunity to purchase debt becomes apparent. Once again, consumers are anticipating price reductions. It is now widely anticipated that Bitcoin will not reach the astronomical prices that were initially anticipated. Now I'm thinking, though, that we should return to Brad Garland's house, because he predicts that the total crypto market cap will double by year's end. In my opinion, Bitcoin will undoubtedly see a blow-off peak. However, I anticipate a somewhat larger correction to occur first. That's merely my personal view. When investing in cryptocurrency, you should always be ready for anything. 
Some are even wishing that the price of XRP drops below 30 cents. Now listen up, if that happens, I'll be increasing my XRP holdings, but right now, it's all about these ISO coins. Currently, every cryptocurrency is on sale. Additionally, this market will recover eventually. And there will be a tremendous ascent. Time will eventually tell. Just a friendly reminder for those who tend to put things off till the last minute. It is tax day, which means that the US government is stealing from us and sending it elsewhere. On top of that, most individuals waiting in line had already gotten a notice from the IRS either via email or snail mail, insisting that they needed to physically verify their identification before they could get their refund. To obtain their money back from the government or the IRS, these individuals had to show up and provide identification. Let me tell you what's so bizarre about that. We will let them vote in the next election, but will refuse to repay them until they provide identification. Keep watching. Everyone is currently assuming this is the bottom, which is why I decided to do this short video today. Also, I haven't figured that out just yet. In the next few days, I believe it is crucial that we closely monitor the DXY. On top of that, I'm interested in keeping tabs on the stock market. For the simple reason that cryptocurrency prices are likely to mirror tomorrow's stock market performance. The stock market was open when I launched my attack on Israel, so investors haven't had a chance to react to the news just yet. Plus, in the next several hours, we're going to find out the answer. I made sure to plan the release of my videos for shortly after midnight. Because I know that many of you are international viewers, I assume that you will likely know more about the future of this than folks in the US will till tomorrow. You know, it's only that the charts and the DXY are inverted, yet they match up nicely. Cryptocurrency prices would be soaring if the DXY were to fall at this very now. Also, I've made other videos discussing that very topic. Even now, many individuals fail to grasp that. However, many individuals fail to grasp the fact that crypto is impacted by events occurring in the real world. It seems like everyone is acting like it was a rug pull today. And now we hear that whales are selling their Bitcoin holdings to retail investors. All of a sudden, a conflict has broken out in another country. You also don't think that will affect the value of Bitcoin. You can bet that tomorrow the stock market will reflect this. That is, however, the reason he said it, once we do take off on XRP. In addition, when we reach high prices, we will examine real-world events in an effort to predict when they will peak. Rather than happening when we are in the midst of a huge surge, it is actually for the best that this happened now. The only positive aspect of this is that it occurred immediately rather than at a later date. However, at the same time as XRP starts sitting, I'm not sure if it breaks beyond $5, and others are predicting the peak. I will examine the DXY first, and then I will look at the actual world events that were happening during that period. I will also let you all in on that little secret. When we invest in a utility-driven cryptocurrency, like XRP+, that will help us comprehend its future. Additionally, you should consider the current state of ISO, the level of interest in tokenization among institutional investors the potential role of custody in the carbon credit market, and the recent resurgence of discussion surrounding this topic at the World Economic Forum. Those occurrences, though, are crucial to your investment. However, as I constantly tell you, be patient, maintain an optimistic outlook, and we will both become wealthy. The video ends there. As always, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe and leave a comment with your opinions. Muchas gracias, depart.